Hey, what's up? Before we get into this Walmart video, I just wanted to do one more merch drop. A lot of you have been asking for this. A few months ago, I commissioned an artist to do this uh, boop mug to do the image that I wanted to put on a mug. And a lot of you have been asking for that image on a hoodie, so here it is. I asked the artist to do like an 80s, 90s, skater punk, grotesque version of myself. And it's also featuring Nova and her beautiful multicolored eyes. Also check out the new AI generated alien fan club, AI generated long sleeve shirt. I love this one so much. I can't wait for mine. And if the AI generated stuff isn't for you, this is a beautiful piece of artwork that was commissioned by a very talented artist and it wasn't cheap. So yeah, let's put it on some more merch. I've been meaning to put it on other things anyway. So now's the time because you've been asking me to, so that's why I'm doing it, if that's not clear yet. So yeah, go get the hoodie now. Link on your screen and link in the description. Now let's get into the video. Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna be talking about Walmart people. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, look at some people walking around Walmart. It's probably gonna be boring, because nothing crazy ever happens at Walmart. <laughs> Uh, said no one ever. All right, let's get into it. This is your battle, Walmart number 70. Let's do it! Hey, what's up? First of all, I just want to say I used to work at a grocery store, and I'm going to start with a pet peeve of mine when I used to work at the grocery store is when people put frozen objects in coolers. Uh, you know, the ground beef isn't gonna stay good in that fr- it's supposed to stay frozen. You just basically threw that in there because you were too lazy and you just- you stole it. It's basically what you did. You destroyed it. You melt it, you buy it, okay? Someone's gonna grab that and they're gonna think that it's a can of coke and they're gonna chug that ground beef and they're gonna get a tapeworm and they're gonna be really sick and then they're gonna drink an actual coke and it's probably gonna kill the tapeworm and everything will be fine, but still. Not cool. Legalize mother slash son marriage. I swear I've seen this guy before. Like, this isn't the same picture. This is the second time I've seen this shirt. Why? Why would you want to legalize it? Is your mom making you wear this shirt? He looks like a scorned son, like hands in his pockets. This man is clearly a grown ass man, but he's giving me little kid vibes with his hands in his pockets and his feet so close together. And he's like acting all meek. I'm confused and I'm scared and I'm creeped out and I just, I know what kind of genre they like on the internet of, you know, the, you know what I'm talking about. Man wears mask into Walmart, not because of COVID, but because it's Walmart. All right, I don't know if that's true, but that is 100% plausible. Yeah, because, you know, just the fecal matter alone in the halls of the Walmart and the fecal matter on the floors of the Walmart... Just alone, that's enough to wear a mask. Uh, okay. Wow. There is a lot going on in this outfit, isn't there? Like, wow, there is so much to unpack here. Well, let's break it down. You're wearing what looks like some sort of general cap, like you were in the army. And then you got this weird polka dot coat, all right, and then the backpack, which isn't Hello Kitty, to my surprise, and then we got these pajama pants, long boots, gloves. I don't know, there's a lot going on here, but I'm pretty sure this person probably has some sort of special needs or something, so I'm not gonna lean into this too much because, you know, people got shit going on. I think someone just needs to help them with their fashion sense. All right, someone needs to get in there and be like, just so you know, and say it in a nice, respectful way because they look like they're there with someone, unless they're just walking behind this person randomly. But if they're walking around the store with someone and they look like that, you can definitely assume that they're not making their best decisions in life and that person with them is helping them try and make good decisions. Holy shit, what happened to your car? It looks like it fell off a cliff and landed on its ass end and then you just pushed it over and you're like, well, at least it didn't land on the engine. It looks like you tied a piece of cloth over it. You made a valid attempt to restructure the back of your car. I see that, okay? I see the attempt that was made. It looks like you made that attempt about one time and then you're like, fuck it, it's good enough. I think you might need to go to a repair shop i'm not sure but also you probably go to the repair shop and they're like yeah that's gonna be like 10 grand and you're like all right i'm just gonna drive my little shard of metal around then for a while i don't know i understand times are tough here's someone who was talking on the phone and then hit one of those yellow median bars wow 
Good job. I wonder how many times a day that those yellow median bars get taken down. Probably like once a day. There's a drive through that I go through, and whenever I go through that drive through I nick the curb. Every time. I don't know what it is. I just don't know how to turn my car wheel, I guess. But every time I nick that curb. You know, then I learn to go wide, and then I hit the other curb. I don't know. And then that one time that I crashed right into the drive through window, and I was like, you know what? You can just put it on my uh, hood, and I'll just drive. I'll back up now. I didn't actually crash into a drive through window, just so you know, just to be clear. My driving history isn't the best. I have had a few accidents, but never crashed into a building that wasn't moving. Here's one more car one. What in the hell? What happened? You got T-boned? How are you even driving this thing? What the hell? They must just be driving and also like swatting an airbag out of their way, like just holding it down with one hand. What happened? And all the sprayed mud on the side? Were you in a demolition derby? And then you were like, all right, well, guys, that was fun. This person probably just went, they won a demolition derby, and now they're here. Yeah, they had to get their Walmart stuff, all right? Nova, get in your spot. I like going to Walmart for fun. It's the small things, Merc. What's your favorite thing to do in our stores, smiley face? Steal. Magnolia on DVD. I mean, Steel Magnolia on DVD. Did they reply when he said steal? What a dick. Man, they're being so nice and he's like, yeah, I like going to Walmart to steal your shit. Oh my gosh, what kind of animal is that? That thing has a human face. I think this person is a witch and her husband pissed her off one day and she turned him into whatever kind of animal this is. You know I have a hard time deciphering what type of animal an animal is, even when it's a normal animal. So, uh, I don't know what the hell this thing is. But it's creepy and it looks like it wants to jump on someone's face. Look at it. It's leaning over the edge like it's ready to pounce. Here's a guy that needs some batteries and a parrot's attacking you. Oh no, I, that's probably his parrot. Wow, cool. I like that you go around with your bodyguard everywhere. If someone tries to mess with you, does the parrot like start talking shit to it? Like, fuck off, buddy. Go fuck yourself. Peck your eyes out, bitch. Look, I don't control what he says, okay? He's just very ride or die for me and he loves his owner. Well, at least I know this is a parrot. Right? <laughs> I could be wrong. It's probably a peacock. Uh, ma'am, I don't want to alarm you, but I do want to inform you that you left the house without any pants on today. I'm surprised she has shoes on. Jesus, you just left the house without any pants and she's shopping for makeup. You're shopping for the wrong thing. Go buy yourself a pair of pants. Like, honestly, I am actually shocked that she has shoes on. If you're too lazy to throw a pair of pants on, I'm surprised she even mustered up the energy to slip her flip-flops on. Toddler accidentally fires mother's gun in a Walmart. Police say a woman is facing a child endangerment charge after her toddler found a gun in her purse and accidentally fired it in a southern Ohio Walmart last week. The Wavery Police Department said the woman told officers who responded shortly after 11 a.m. Thursday that the two-year-old boy took her her Taurus 9mm firearm from her purse and it went off. Police said the bullet went into the ceiling of the store and the child was left with a minor injury to his forehead due to contact with the magazine. Well, at least it wasn't a bullet that went through his forehead. Shit. Be careful with your guns, people. Police said the woman, whose name wasn't released, was taken into custody and charged in Pike County Court with endangering children. The boy was released to the care of a guardian and taken to an urgent care facility. Well, shit. You're lucky that nobody got killed. You're lucky the only thing that died was the roof. You're lucky there wasn't someone standing up there. The janitor might have been having a smoke on the roof. That is some scary shit, all right? If you have a gun in your purse, you gotta be very mindful of if your child is rummaging through your purse. Oh, you know, sometimes I just let him hold the gun because it keeps him quiet. You know, it soothes him. Give the kid an iPad, not a gun. AMA request. The guy from the video of guy pours milk on himself at Walmart screaming. You may remember this video. I was wondering if this guy whose name is Choppa could come in for an AMA. Apparently this was all real and his TikTok is at, and he actually does this on a daily basis, but at different places. Just shot him an email today and see if he's got time to come back to the thread, just waiting to hear back. I used this guy in a video before. They're talking about this guy right here. Just insanity. Look, I'd like to say that this guy suffers from mental illness too, but it's a different type of mental illness. This one here dresses strange, probably has something going on struggling with some sort of mental illness. But this one right here, they're not struggling with it. They're leaning into it. <laughs> they're developing a mental illness. I don't know, they're fucking up. They are, it's a uh, brain no work, no good. Yeah, get him in. Ask him how he feels about the employees having to clean up all that shit. Okay, here's a cool technology that Walmart is implementing, which is pretty fucking cool. This is a drone dropping off a package at someone's house.
okay, here's what you do to mess with the Walmart employees. You take a little army man and you attach it to the hook so that when the drone flies back, it's like it's dropping off a little a little man, like an action movie when the ladder comes in and they got to grab it and fly away. You know, yeah, yeah I, I think that'd be fun. I like how the drone doesn't land because they know people would just be fucking with them. I wonder how many of these things have been shot down by paranoid homeowners that are like, oh God, it's a UAP. UFO, take it down. You know, people be crazy and I know someone went out with a broom one time and tried to swat that thing out of the sky and then the neighbor's like, hey, it's just delivering my package. And they're like, no, that's an alien. Now, I recently learned about Gail, the goat, apparently, the greatest of all time Walmart employee. She went viral after she had a really nice signing off message on her last day at Walmart. It was obviously very emotional for her. And then people started memeing her as the greatest of all time Walmart employee, which very well could be true. I don't know. Someone actually got a tattoo of her. That was my main point in bringing her up. You got a tattoo of the Walmart employee of the year? Why? Do you know her personally? Or are you just trying to cover your body in memes? Here's another outfit just putting off some sort of vibe. I'm not really sure what that vibe is, but it's scaring me. I feel like this guy is like a new immigrant to this country and someone's messing with him and telling him that, no, this is how people dress. Stop messing with this poor old man, okay? He's not a pimp. He's not a space pimp cowboy. Oh, wow. This person actually looks like they might be half fox. The fox tail and their hair surprisingly match up really well. It looks like this tail might have been made out of their own hair. Now let me see the placement of this tail. These tails always make me nervous. Is it around their waist or is it in the butt? Being a furry is definitely a way of life for this person because they got the socks, they got the tail, they got the ears. Honestly, my daughter would love this. If she saw this person in the wild in a Walmart, she would be like, oh my god, that's amazing. Can I do that? She would probably be excited and terrified all at the same time. She wouldn't want to approach this person, but she'd think it was amazing from a distance. Here's a duck shopping at Walmart. Is that duck with anyone or is it pushing that cart? Sir, is that your duck? Can you please put a leash on your duck, okay? I don't want it pecking children. My kids are being so loud upstairs. They're being so loud. They're stomping around. Why are they doing this to me? Wow, look at this person decorated their car. It says, 100% white trash, I heart hot moms. The I heart hot moms would have been cool, but then you had to say you were 100% white trash. How are you supposed to pick up hot moms if they already think you're 100% white trash? Unless that's what they're into, I don't know. Oh, some Walmart seasoning. Caribbean traditions, cock flavored seasoning, wow. Well, at least I don't have to put a penis in my mouth to know what it tastes like. Here's someone who was just stopping randomly in the middle of their Walmart shop and getting some push-ups in. I just still don't understand why people feel the need to film this kind of stuff, but I guess I appreciate it because it's in my video. But hey, I respect the grind. This guy's just getting his workout in when he can, okay? He had to go to the Walmart. He had to skip his workout today. So he went to the Walmart and he got his sets in. Maybe this was his decision today. He was like, you know what? I'm not going to go to the gym. I'm just going to get my workouts on dirty ass Walmart floors. You know how much poop articles are on your hands now, sir? You put your hands on a Walmart floor. Are you insane? You are diseased now. Anyway, that's the video. Uh, yeah. Come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Boop. Go check out the new merch. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, go check out my Patreon. Next month, I think that's gonna be the month to really ramp up the Patreon. I gotta, it's like month by month, I gotta figure out what the hell to do. It's a mess up here, okay? I am an unorganized mess, and that is how I live my life, and I just can't help it. My brain don't work so good. All right, on that note, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, that's the video. Get your new hoodie. Go get it.